Hey y'all, let's see what the energies be like today. I'm gonna do a quick video for y'all because I got a bunch of stuff to do today. Readings. Gotta go to the furniture store. All that good shit. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles, someone will be successful. Okay. I heard two different things. Someone will be successful with a King of Cups. And someone will just be successful being a King of Cups. I feel like this King of Cups is looking at this Empress, right? Because this is the closest thing that you can get to an Empress without the Empress card because this is abundant prosperity, nurturing. This this person still grows. This person still plants seeds, right? This person, someone also has a, a bird or likes birds. They may have a bird tattoo, which could be blue, right? But I feel like this King of Cups here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Earth sign out here on the deck, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Signs probably really don't matter. Spirit is telling me. No, it's not mattering. It's the energies that's going along with this. This King of Cups is looking at this person as if they are so successful and abundant and prosperous and nurturing and caring. Hence the Queen of Cups, right? Hence the Empress. Someone is looking at this person as a wish fulfillment. Contentment. Worth waiting for, worth arguing, worth all of that. Worth tussling, fussing, all that. Worth all of that. This person, this is giving me a masculine energy. Are you trying to eat my pickle? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I just heard a spiritual relationship. Let me use my... Oracle of the Seven Energies. I haven't used this in a while. I really like this deck. It's like really, really accurately, accurately scary type of thing. Because it's so fucking accurate. I just said, I feel like this is a, a, a spiritual relationship. Okay. This person, I just, I'm getting satisfaction. I'm getting I'm, I I'm choosing the right choice or I have chose the right choice. I've always chose the right choice. And now it's like maybe a realization of, but this person is also angry about something. Definitely. They're angry. Okay. It could be about their abundance and secrets surrounding their abundance. Still needs healing. Yes. Is what I heard. So this masculine energy here. It's pretty angry about the abundance that he's maybe not getting or maybe he is getting, but it's going straight to a, a fucking energy vampire, right? Going to a, a, a very deep, dwelled situation. It's like everything he gets goes to that situation. This is why he could be angry about this abundance. And then he's looking at you like, you so damn successful. You so damn, you be having shit growing. Maybe different. Maybe even have a fucking garden. <laughs> right? You be, you be, shit be popping for you. Like, you plant your seeds and they grow. This person is definitely looking at you as a total wish fulfillment. Wow, I didn't even see this at the bottom of the damn deck. Look, Ace of Cups. This person is in love. But there's also tower moments surrounding this whole situation. But very committed, very determined to especially fight for love and especially fight for this person's abundance back. Something is going on with this financial. This is why this person is looking at you as you're so financially successful, right? But also emotionally fulfilling. Emotionally fulfilling. I don't think this divine masculine here will ever give up on this. This is why if you ever do move on, if y'all ever do not be, you know, in union and nothing like that, I don't think he's gonna not going to stop watching you. I really don't think. Because this is all he's doing is watching you. He just watches you. Could be on social media. Could be a person. Somebody is driving by someone's house. Somebody has a brown truck, a brown pickup truck, Ford F F-150. It's old. It's a really nice truck. 
and y'all live in a small town. Someone has a silver car, grayish kind of. Someone drives a red Camry. Also, someone drives a white Camry with the red interior. Um, interior, y'all know what I'm talking about. And then someone drives a Jeep, but it's like this person has new information that they received, that they found out, that they read online is what I'm hearing. Somebody's Googling something. Twin Flames. Somebody's Googling Twin Flames. They're trying to find out what the hell this is. Because maybe they're thinking, are you my Twin Flame? Is this your... Because there's too many goddamn synchronicities. First of all, both of y'all looking this way. Same thing. Twins mirror each other, right? Both of y'all looking at your wish fulfillment. <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch? So, your wish fulfillment for the feminine energy is planting the seeds and watching them grow and nurturing them. Just like how my mama be doing her garden. Same process. Same thing. You plant it with love. You talk to it. You nurture it. You water it. You go outside. You talk to them. You, same thing with this nine of pentacles. This nine of pentacles is the closest thing that you can get to the empress. I'm telling y'all. This person, all about emotional fulfillment. Very emotional. Very... I'm getting sensual from this card also. It's like he fell in love all over again. Something has transpired or something maybe has happened, right? We're going to get initials on these people here, of course, because we're going to be nosy. <laughs> and then the Nine of Cups, they both looking this way. You know what's crazy? You know what I just received? What's crazy is these two energies are both committed. Nelly, what you doing? Ain't no more treat. Nelly, what you doing? Ain't no more treat. Um, they both committed to not giving up on their individual journey, but also committed to going through these tower moments to and these secrets. Somebody is surrounded by secrets and heartache that they need to heal from. Somebody is just surrounded by a bunch of, I'm telling you about a bunch of bullshit, y'all. This situation is, is being balanced. A TikTok notification. This situation is being balanced out fast. Very, very, very fast. I'm seeing the Knight of Swords type of fast. I'm seeing... The Nine of Wands type of fast. And the Nine of Wands is somewhat low-key all about in and out energy. But I don't think this is an in and out energy. This is not giving me in and out. This is giving me I'm going in and there's no out. There's no out to this because this is my wish fulfillment. So, but see, what I'm getting from this, both of these people are looking at their wish fulfillments as not in each other. And the wish fulfillment is in each other i guarantee the queen of cups will be out here on the deck soon i guarantee it or the empress um look spirit look the hierophant marriage spiritual relationship i'm not getting conformity maybe conformity to this love to this relationship but i'm not getting any type of religious factor in it unless it's like marriage or something like that but this is going to be a bond that's not going to be broken, is what I'm hearing. Both of these people are looking at... This is so weird because he looking at her, but she's looking at that. Maybe maybe Divine Feminine feels like, shh, this is person is not her, her, her wish fulfillment. Yeah, I heard a yes. Maybe you guys are feeling like this person is not your wish fulfillment, so you're kind of looking away and you're looking towards your wish fulfillment. I just told y'all asses, y'all be y'all going to be getting a damn karma from POF. I just told y'all that yesterday, okay? We had one of them in the comments yesterday. He gonna say, you ain't gotta say it like that. Uh, don't be so judgmental or so harsh on people's healing. First of all, shut the fuck up. Secondly, you probably the motherfucking karmic that be on POF waiting for Divine Feminine to pop on uh, uh, in there so you can go ahead and be annoying and stalking her ass. Shut up, Anthony. Anyway, Spirit has definitely got their hands all through this connection, all through this situation. Because I don't think neither one of you are looking at each other like wish fulfillment. He's definitely looking at you like wish fulfillment, but you're looking somewhere else. And it could be because maybe everything that has transpired between y'all, maybe everything that has happened between y'all, or and just maybe you guys don't know the, each other right now. Spirit said that is a definite possibility. Y'all do not know each other. You may know of each other, but you don't know each other. And what it is, is the Ace of Cups is 
fully in your face. This person here is definitely dealing with anger around finances. I can I can tell you that now. He kind of think you got it easy, but no, not really. He he knows you work hard for your shit. He knows that you're determined and ambitious and won't stop at nothing to fulfill your life's wishes, right? But this tower card, let's see what this tower card is. Childhood at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has childhood traumas they need to heal. Both. Both energies do. See, let me see. Tower. Let's see what the tower is, y'all. Something in a full moon power. Joy and doubt. See, this is what the tower is. Nothing but doubt. I think self-doubting is creating tower moments. Because self-doubting, you don't really get to enjoy full moon power. You don't really get to enjoy the manifestations that's coming in is exactly what I just heard. You don't get to enjoy it because you over here doubting either the tower moment or if you can get through these tower moments. Something is heavy going on behind the scenes. Look, you're caution. It's caution. Caution. Nothing but caution. Like, should I do this? Should I not do this? What the fuck am I going to do? Should I put stop smoking them cigarettes? Yes, the hell you should. Stop doing that. Because in time... Both of y'all going to be vulnerable. There's two beings here, not just one. One of them, somebody going to cut the cord to something. Not saying to the either or other energy, but somebody's going to cut the cord to something and stop giving and stop feeding that energy fairly soon is what I'm hearing here. This looks more masculine, doesn't it? And this looks more feminine, doesn't it? I like how they did that. It's like curved, but then here, y'all know I see shit moving and shit, so I don't know if y'all see what I see, but... To me, this is like a wave. This is like femininity. Someone walking and switching, right? And this is just an upright figure, upright being. Y'all get what I'm saying now? Interesting. I heard Y chromosome. Hmm. So then this energy here, you see how it's cut at the bottom and it's, it's no longer being given to a situation? I definitely think... Y'all see how that is? What did I just say? Masculine and feminine. I just said that this situation deserves patience. You may need to take a pause because someone is fearful. Someone is fearful from seeing what? From seeing and remembering what this union is actually is. Someone is fearful. Someone is scared to get a past life reading. Someone is scared to look into their past lives because if they find out that this person isn't their twin flame, they're gonna they're gonna feel some type of way. If they fire hurt pain play with fire you get burned right but you're going to grow and you're going to protect this situation because duality this is interesting reflect grow birth y'all somebody is definitely scared to find out that maybe this person isn't their wish fulfillment someone tripping and it's nothing just it's just self-deception and fear it's fear because may either one of these energies stay said masculine my ears ringing either one of these energies so uh, the masculine energy is definitely thinking what if this person he needs to see beyond you need to see beyond this shit <laughs> look use a burst of magic it's all in you the fuck use magic what you talking about you need to see beyond with your third eye instead of your physical three eyes 3d eyes because you're seeing this as she got it all she's getting it all What's she going to do with me? What's she going to want with me? It's kind of giving insecurities at this moment. What Like, I, there's love there. I love her. But I know she's looking at something else as her wish fulfillment because maybe I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. Or maybe we just met and I don't know what the hell to do. I don't know how to really get to know you. I, you in, to intimidate me. Somebody is intimidated by somebody that they just met. And this is your twin flame. Stop questioning this is your twin flame because it is. But there will be a lot, a lot of tower moments because... I heard karmic twin flame, and for the rest of you, it's just nothing but lessons. Nothing but lessons. You know what I read on the internet? I read 14, 14 on the clock. I read twin flame journey is nothing but growth, healing, and processing. And the main important reasons, the main important cue is learning that you are in a twin flame connection, but also learning that you can be without that's one of the main things that you need to learn because the longing, the yearning, all that, right? It's your other soul. It's your other, you have to just, it just, it's, it's, it's inevitable. <laughs> like it's just going to happen. But 
If you can find contentment in being alone, look how look how content she is. She's by herself. She is her wish fulfillment. When you find contentment outside of each other within yourselves, then you therefore find contentment within each other. You find your wish fulfillment within each other. So then therefore she's going to be looking at him as my wish fulfillment. The, the Queen of Cups want to come out. I'm telling y'all. This person right now is single, prosperous, abundant, happy being single, happy being alone. This person here wants marriage, commitment, very loyal, very loyal person is what I'm getting. Hold on. Look, the world. Complete. Completion. Completing cycles, completing karmic cycles. This situation is going to be very, very, very complete soon. Because of the heartache, the grief, the sadness, the fucked up this, the, the karmic, the karmics. <laughs> Look. And then after that is the four of wands gathering marriage, happiness, right? Transformation, change. It's inevitable is what I'm getting. But nobody's looking at each other really. He's definitely looking. But she is focused on herself. This is the nine of pentacles. Being focused on what you got going on and what you're planting. You see how she's she looking away. But she also has her hand on these pentacles. Focused. Nelly, shush. Queen of Wands here out here on the deck. This person is very attractive. And, and it's de he's definitely, he is definitely attracted to this Queen of Wands. Definitely. This Queen of Wands is in the upright, so I don't think this is any karmic or anything. No, it's not a karmic. This, this, these bitches the energy just not in here today baby <laughs> just not in here today um look determined commitment willing frustrated but still going because he looks as this this feminine here as beautiful graceful magical your dm looks at you as something magical he looks at you as when you touch something it flourishes, it grows, it, it turns to gold. Literally is what I just heard. And then the nine of pentacles here, you reap the benefits of what you what you put. Look at this, six of cups at the bottom of the deck, bitch. Come on now, come on, come on. Working hard, working hard. Both of y'all working hard individually. And this is why this person is definitely in hermit mode. He's He may be around people or he may be calling and texting people. I don't really think he really giving his energy to these motherfuckers. No, look, this car fell out. Focus on, on, on money. This person is always focused on money. Not so materialistic. No, not, no. But... He focused on money, manifesting money, new ideas, new creativity, new creations, new innovations while watching you. I just said this person watching me. King of Swords here. So the King of Swords have fell out on top of the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Truth will be brought to you very soon. The King of Swords is all about truth, independence, integrity. Just putting down the hammer, putting down a sword, knowing what's right, knowing what's wrong. Overlooking things, right? Taking accountability, taking in information, being enlightened, stuff like that. That's why the butterflies are, are over the crown, being enlightened. In, in a flight mode, being having so much information to where they feel like they can take off type of thing. Hence, air, air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, right? That's all about swords. But the foundation up under this king's foot may be a little rocky. You see how it's not, it's not leveled, it's not even. But this person knows what to do about it though and i feel like truth will be coming straight to you from this king of swords that's what the king of swords is all about truth five of cups and a knight of wands so the knight of wands is low-key over here by the king of cups and then the five of cups fell over here so a lot of divine feminines i didn't even mean to say a lot but i guess so shit a lot of divine feminines are in between walking away 
and being in regret for spending so much time. You've known this person for years. I heard nine years, six, five. And you feel like you just can't get over the bridge, get to the bridge, to the, the new city, the new part, the the inspiration. You just feel like you can't get to that. There's a big ass body of water. Half your cups is 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 literally empty as shit. More than half. You have here, and it's only a little bit in these damn cups. A very small amount in these damn cups. But also, these cups over here knock the fuck over. You just keep pouring yourself. You feel like you just keep pouring yourself into this situation or into another situation. You're not getting what you're supposed to be getting. But are you guys learning lessons what you're supposed to be learning? Because, let me tell you something. If you think he's stupid, you think you stupid. <laughs> You have the same soul. You cannot tell me that this motherfucker's dumb. So are you? This motherfucker's childish. Are you? Because if you see childish in him, then you see you have to see it within yourself. I'm trying to tell y'all. And then now we have a pair. The King of Wands. This King of Wands, it fell in between. Yes, it's in between. Is it in between? Yeah. I had to check. So this King of Wands, and you see, y'all see how that fell now. This person is still looking at you, but looking away from this heartache and pain and this grief and sadness. Y'all see that? That's exactly why I fell the way it fell. This person is looking at all that. I think this this King of Wands is is really awakening to his fucked up ass environment. Definitely. Because the Three of Swords is here and he's not even looking at this. Somebody about to get their heart broken. Somebody about to get... It's a, it's a fucking Wheel of Fortune. It's a, a karmic cycle. It has to be complete. Look, I just said the Empress... I said the Empress or the Queen of Cups is going to be out here. And now the emperor wants to show up. I can already see the card. But somebody's about to get their heart broken. Whatever this is, whatever situation this is, this, this could be a mama. This could be a mama figure. This can be a father. This it, Whatever situation that has nothing but grief, pain, sadness, this person is not looking towards that shit no more. It's nothing but tire moments. Nothing but tire moments and lessons. And who the fuck want to still get their ass whooped by karma purposely? You purposely finna be in that? You purposely finna sit there? You purposely finna let this motherfucker walk all over, all over you? You purposely finna let this motherfucker steal money and shit? You purposely finna do that. That's you. Now, now that's you purposely doing that and not wanting to change and accepting change. Accepting, I'm trying to tell you. But this energy, this King of Wands, I think has separated the bullshit from y'all see from what needs to be held on to because now the king of wands is looking at the empress so we're gonna get some cards and i gotta get dressed gotta go buy some uh furniture let's see what the situation entails i feel like it's been a lot of pain a lot of hurt a lot of sadness Time machine. This person is going back in time. This person here, this damn divine masculine, is looking at. Look how he got his fucking fist balled up. He's looking at this whole entire situation like, I bitch, I beat your ass. <laughs> he going back in time. He looking at all the pain, the sadness, the grief, the regret, the heartache, the tower moments. He's looking at all of this as if. I know the fuck I didn't allow this shit, which you did, but then that's the way the cookie crumbled because it's your soul contract and you wasn't awoke. You wasn't awake. How, how can you be awake and asleep at the same time? You can't be both. Let's show ass sleepwalking. Who know? But anybody finna be sleepwalking through life, then you just exist and you're not living. So at the t at the end of the day, this person is going back down memory lane. Is exactly what I just heard. The six of cups. Look, the six of cups are literally right here. This person is going back down memory lane. He's going back so far as childhood and also you too. But I think you need to get more into that because there's a, there, there need to be a lot of healing from that damn childhood trauma for the both of y'all. I think that's the next step. But also this person's going down memory lane. 
And looking at this shit like, I know I spent all this time, all this time on that. Yeah. This person has a very merry motive now. Let's see what this entails. Oop, two cards popped up. Willing, release, and call of the muse. So what I literally just got from this was this person is going to call in the muse. Maybe even talk to spirit guys. Maybe even talk to spirit. Maybe even talk to whoever this person believes in, right? Whoever divine masculine believes in, right? I don't know why I keep saying person. I think this is a free energy flowing thing. I keep saying this person. I usually say divine masculine. This may be a divine feminine or a divine masculine. So I keep saying this person. So if you know a feminine energy like this or just a woman like this, then this could be for her as well. It's just feel free to switch the energies around. I just keep saying this person. Right? So at the end of the day, this person is definitely about this. They in. The time machine down memory lane thinking about all the shit that they done did look it could, it could be nine years here nine years doing some bullshit being some bullshit in some com trying to complete cycles not feeling complete feeling in, in regret and grief tower moment after tower moment after tower moment didn't move on didn't learn from it angry about it and there's somebody definitely angry about they where they money going to i can tell you that right now they mad as shit they feel like this is some bullshit they feel like what have i been doing what what is this but also, if you didn't go through the shit, how would you learn? It has to be like this. The cookie needed to crumble the way the cookie needed to fucking crumble. But this person is about to call in the muse. Whatever muses them, whatever motivates them, whatever makes them inspired. They're about to call that in. Somebody could have a child that is four. I see four um, dandelions. You could be 49. Your child could be three. You see the number 331 all the time. You see 3.31 p.m., 3.31 a.m. You see 1.33 all the time. Someone does ballet. Definitely. Someone's in a dance industry. Maybe a dance instructor. Maybe a dance teacher. Or you think somebody's thinking about picking up dance, picking up a new hobby to get their mind off of all this bullshit. But honestly... It ain't gonna work. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna help release, right? But you still need to go through it to get over it. Don't go around it. We don't do go around. Going around, you no. It's gonna come back around in another lesson. Your ass won't that? I don't think so. Lessons hurt. <laughs> Lessons hurt, bitch. Look, willing release. After this pre person calls in the muse to whatever they think they may need to release. All this fuck shit or just anything that does not serve them. What's about to happen, spirit? Let's see. Look, into me, I see. I am willing to release, so into me, I see. this per The power of purpose, the power of knowledge, the power of knowing self, the power of going through the uncharted seas and all the, all the turmoil and bullshit and storms beyond the ordinary, right? What is the ending of this, though? Like, what is the main... Healing, earth magic. At the end of it, the way the cookie crumble is just healing, earth magic. Grounding. Somebody definitely needs to take your ass outside and ground too, because your emotions is all over the place. When you put your feet on feet on that damn cement, grass, dirt, sand, whatever the hell it is, you're gonna feel much better. Cause whatever you got going on, you're bottling it up, and you need to give it to earth. I I can't look. You just need to give it to earth, cause at the end of the day. This person has a very merry motive. It's not dark. It's not demonic. It's not negative. It's not draining. It's There's going to be endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. I feel like when you know yourself, then you're going to know the other person. Look, when you know yourself... Then you're going to know the other person and the land in between won't be a land in between. It'll be connected. What the? F Come on now, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Eyes wide open to the foxes around y'all. Spirit of gratitude. Have gratitude for the things that you have rather than the things that you don't have. Oh, you want a Mercedes. You want an Audi. You want a Cadillac, C2, whatever. But you have a car that's not it. So what? It gets you from A to B, don't it? 
you ain't got this. You ain't got that. I need this. I need that. Is it a need, a necessity, or a want? Because if it's a necessity or a luxury, you kind of need to outweigh that. Because at the end of the day, what you want is not what you need. Somebody's in competition with other people, materialistic. You need to get out that mindset. At the end of the day, people don't really give a fuck what you wear, what you got on. They do, but it's only to belittle you, to make you feel inadequate. And once you realize that, Steven, I don't know who the hell Steven is, Jason, Isaac, Isaiah, Michael, Peter. I heard perpetrator. The fuck? Um... Diante, D I O N Ante, Diante, something like that. I heard Michelangelo now. I heard St. Petersburg. The, I heard the devil's advocate, the devil's in sheep clothing. And then I seen the movie The Devil's Advocate. Then I also seen the movie by uh Stephen King. Y'all remember that damn movie when it was on the island and everybody had to pick out the marbles, the black and white marbles? Somebody recently watched that movie or somebody likes that movie. I love that damn movie. They was on the island and they would have to choose which kid to go to be the next whatever it was, the damn the dark being, whatever, right? To be his prodigy. Y'all remember that damn movie. Somebody watches that. A lot, I heard. Trish. Santos. That's literally a name, Santos. I just keep hearing Steve, Steven. Something's up with Steve. This person is very materialistic. This person likes to boast. This person likes to wear gold or silver, whatever. This person, I see a bunch of chains. Um, This person can't go a day without feeling like somebody needs to see them. They need to be seen. It, it can be anything. That motherfucker can go to the grocery store and be souped up and booted. And people look at him like, what the fuck is you doing? You going to a club or something? Like... These people are highly material. Look, three, three, three. Look, four, three, 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 three. This person is highly materialistic and needs to get into nurturing themselves because all that glitter don't fucking gold. All that gold don't motherfucking glitter, okay? The shit is just, it's a void. It's leaving you in a void. You need to reflect. You need to have duality and you need to protect your growth. Somebody definitely needs to protect their growth and have space away from what? And focus on the new moon because your ass is sad. You need to water what? Trust in your damn self. <laughs> uh, that materialistic shit ain't helping you, is it? No, it's not. It's not making you feel better, is it? That new chain, that new watch, that, that new car that you keep getting. You keep leasing cars. Somebody keeps leasing cars back to back to back just to, to be up on the now. And can barely afford to fucking shit. Just to be up on the now. Just to be seen. Oh, you got the you got the Audi. Woo -dee -woo -woo -woo. Damn, that's what's up. And then you take your ass home and then you be sad as shit. Child, get it, get it together because all this shit materialistic, you can't take it with you. With you when you go to another astral world, can you? You can't take it with you. Can you? No. Somebody's definitely stressed out with being on top. This is a masculine injury. This is definitely giving me a masculine injury. If you know a person like this, then probably. So we're going to end this with, um, what is the final destination? <laughs> Ooh, what did I just say? Queen. Oh, there's a Queen of Swords reverse involved. <laughs> Spirit said, hold on now. The bitch is trying to rush in fast. Wow. Wow. To control this foundation because her foundation is done. It is crumbled. And somebody walking away from it. And she is definitely holding on. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be okay. This is now the karmic energy. She's about to offer something to divine masculine, divine feminine. And it's about to leave her hurt. It, look, I can't make this shit up. It's about to leave her defeated as fuck. Because he's not going to accept that. She's not going to accept that. Four of Cups. She thinks something's going to be successful though. Oh, she think karma is on her side. She think she finna, she finna take justice in her, to her own hands and plan. See, now this is the karmic energy. So I guess they're trying to come through. So this is the word. Because somebody's about to get their 
total wish fucking fulfillment. And these bitches is not finna let go. Look how determined she is. And it's not going to be as... Look at the, the horse. The horse is like, bitch, what is we doing? What are you doing? You need to go another direction. <laughs> you need to go in another direction. Bitch, where is the GP? Where is the compass? Because you're going the wrong way. Where are you, why are you so... Look, look at the people behind her. Bruh, what is she doing? Why is she... Somebody's name is Vicky. Victoria. Vanessa. Veneers. Somebody wears veneers. Look. I heard vinicle. There's that fucking brown vehicle. That brown truck. Vehicle. Brown stick. Vehicle. Somebody has a um, Christmas thing just like this. I forgot what these things is called. Right on their damn door. Somebody has six solar little lamps around their door so they can see. Look at these people. Look, she's leading some of these damn people down the damn straight to karma. Because she's planning and plotting and she thinks she's going to reap the benefits from planting and plotting these type of seeds. But it's going to cause nothing but destruction and despair. She's about to offer something. He, she's about to offer him something. I can guarantee. She's contemplating hard on this shit. She's moving nowhere but to straight confusion for herself. Her punishment will, will be not knowing herself and never not finding duality within herself. You see how this face is missing? There's no duality there. Y'all see that now. That will be her punishment. It's having probably multiple personalities. Multiple egos. Something is about to backfire so bad and this is destined to do so. And she's about to be in sorrow because of it. No, please, please. No, bitch, it's happening. It's happening. And she know it's finna happen. Because of the Queen of Cups. What she do to the Queen of Cups? Illusions. She created illusions around the Queen of Cups. Look how many look. Look, 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 y'all. She created multiple illusions, seven, literally seven illusions. She planted each seven illusion. Here's one, here's one, here's one. Seven illusions. She working on another one. What did I just say? She working on another one. She's about to plant illusions to do what? To move forward. What the fuck? Uh-uh. She's about to plant an illusion. She finna send somebody y'all way. Y'all watch who y'all talk to on POF and shit like that. She's about to... Uh, uh, she's about to, she, Child. This raggedy bitch. This raggedy bitch is about to send you somebody that she thinks is gonna be your type. So you can go away from divine masculine or divine feminine. She wants you to move past... A cancer. This is a cancer card. She wants you to move past a cancer. She wants you to... Child, look here. This raggedy bitch wants you to move past the cancer, to look beyond and plan to be loyal to another passion, to stop juggling and get you another nine of cups. I mean, a ten. I seen a nine of cups. I literally seen the word nine of cups to get you another wish fulfillment, another fucking family, because this is her family and this is her burden. And bitch, sh wow, this is her new beginning. She's in her King of Wands energy, but reversed. This is ridiculous. That y'all see that? This is ridiculous. She wants you to balance and and out another family. She don't want you with the person that she wants. She don't want you with the person that she knows is in love with you. She wants you to be this is her, honestly. Look how this person is looking. She wants you to be loyal to something else. She's looking at Look how she's looking at you. Look. If this bitch don't go another way, let me throw this in there. Let me let me use this spell. Let me use this mat. Y'all, look look at this. Pay attention. Look. 
this bitch get the fuck out of our lives meanwhile you look do you have so much passion for this one little it ain't little now but <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> look you have passion for this wand he is taller than you. you have to look up at him he's growing he's blossoming he's healing he's inspiration also you see how the the leaves there's a lot of information in this motherfucking video god damn <laughs> You see how it could be dry as fuck around the desert, but he is still growing and he is still your passion. He is still your enthusiasm. He is still energetically yours. She wants you to stop balancing. She wants you to drop this and get another fucking family dynamic. She wants you to get another wish fulfillment. I literally seen the nine of cups in this fucking shit. This bitch is weird because she got so many burdens because of this. Because the, she got so many burdens because of your new fucking beginning. Oh my God. She is in her King of Wands energy reverse. And y'all know what King of Wands energy reverse is. Somebody that's not in their right state of mind, baby. Look, look, you will be successful with this, this, this gathering, this union. Cause you, <sighs> Queen of Wands here, you're beautiful. You're, you're the epitome of beauty, whatever that means to you inside and out. It's like, she's trying to mirror you. That's why the fucking, she's a queen, of, a king of, child look how oh my god hold on y'all spiritual relationship the nine of cups wish fulfillment you know what anyway so the king of wands and the queen of wands this is the karmic she's mirroring everything you do she's trying to copy you she's watching you she's she's how you talk how you walk what you wear somebody started to wear some, the same thing you wore. Somebody dyed their hair the same way you got your hair dyed. Somebody is starting to wear a bunch of green, a bunch of black. They getting their fingernails done. They getting their nails done. It, somebody is... What the fuck? She's trying to mirror you so she can confuse divine masculine. But this is not going to work. Because he knows who the real queen of, queen of wands is. He knows this bitch is, is definitely reversed as hell. I, I'm ending this here at the end of the day. Um, you can also have a cat as well, but you're the epitome of beauty. This is a very beautiful person. This is a very graceful person. This is a very magical person. This is a very balanced person. This person here wants your life. So she's going to try to mirror anything that you're doing. So if you, if your karmic recently dyed her hair... If the karmic recently got the same car as you, if the karmic is talking how you talk, y'all, that's what she doing. She's trying to, con that's the, that's the, the seed that she planting. If I act like her, maybe I'm a confusing. No, energy is energy, baby. Energy is energy. And this person is going to know you are reverse as shit. Girl, bye.